Hi, Steve Piscatelli here. There's a story that back in the 13th century, in order to make sure there were always 12 donuts in a dozen, bakers started adding a 13th donut. And that 13th donut became known as the baker's dozen. So today I want to provide you with a baker's dozen of study skill tips, study skill topics. This is just a quick overview. For more specific information, you can see my blog and see my YouTube channel. But let's dive in. The first thing we want to consider when we think about study skills is that generally when folks first hear it, especially students taking a study skills course, they might say, do I really need this? This is this is, seems to be uh, so simple and it's not rocket science. And you know, really it isn't rocket science. But what we want to do is do an assessment because we can all get better. Some of us have some great skills. Some of us have some challenges. So the first thing we want to do is to find out what we really need to focus on in our study skills. A critical study skill is critical thinking. We have to be able to um, recognize assumptions, we have to be able to evaluate information, and we have to be able to draw conclusions if we want to effectively uh, understand reading, if we want to effectively understand issues, if we want to effectively understand where our challenges and where our strengths are when it comes to study skills. And remember, study skills are not just something for the classroom. Study skills are important in career and also in life situations. Priority management. You can't manage your time, but you can manage your priorities. Make sure you understand what is negotiable in your life and what is non-negotiable and make sure that each day you set time aside to focus on your most specific and most important priorities. Information literacy. We've got to be able to know what information we need, where to find it, how to evaluate it, and then how to use it, how to present it afterwards. That's simply what information literacy is and it's even more critical when we start looking at the internet and all the sources that we can um, uh, we come across uh, and read and we have to determine critically whether or not these are in fact uh, good sources and they, they will help us in uh, whatever project we're working on. Motivation and goal setting. Think of this acronym SOAR, S-O-A-R. Goals should be specific. You should be able to organize your resources to get to the goal you need to be able to take action. It's one thing to set the goal, but you got to do something. And then you need to always remember the reason for the goal. What is it that's motivating you to move forward? Learning styles. Know how you take information in and how you put information out best, most effectively. I like to say learning styles, one style that never goes out of style. Class time, listening and note taking. The skills you learn here are skills that are going to transfer to the to the business world as well. Are you engaged in a meeting? Are you engaged in class? Do you participate? Do you take notes? Do you write down key points? Do you ask questions and then help others answer questions? And then when you're done, do you review the notes? You know, there's the research tells us that the more relevance we can see, the more connections we can make between what we learn in a classroom, what we see and hear and participate with in a meeting that the better chance is for overall learning. Reading, critically important, whether you got a book, a novel, or you have something off of the uh, internet. Uh, the SQ4R model is still one of the more widely used models for reading. Memory, if I had to give one tip, make connections. Make connections between what you are attempting to remember and what you already know in some things that are important to you in your life. Test preparation and test performance. This is where your study skills come together. This is where they pay off and pay big dividends. Remember preparation and performance, two separate activities leading to hopefully a great result on your, on your test. Uh, civility, <clears throat> it's important in the classroom. It's important in the business world and obviously it's very important in your own personal relationships. Are you treating people with respect? And I, I like to say the, or ask really, is it part of your DNA? Make it part of your DNA. And in this case, the DNA stands for do nice always. And then finally, no matter what the study skill, no matter what the challenge, what the strength, it's the choices you make every day. The small choices that you make and do are going to create the larger life. 
Until we meet again, choose well, live well.